it was like a big boom, and then the room shook. It's a big bang followed by a vibration. The United States Geological Survey reported a magnitude 1.7 earthquake struck in Astoria, Queens at 5.45 in the morning. What are the chances of this happening again? While it may come as a shock to us, it's actually not that earth shattering. The planet that we live on is constantly moving, although very slowly. The earth has a large mantle that's convecting uh, all the way from the surface down to the liquid iron core. And that convection is driving motions at the surface that lead to earthquakes wherever the rocks are sufficiently brittle. And so you get big earthquakes when you have large fault zones at which the uh, rock will break. That said, anywhere on Earth near the surface, you can have an earthquake if you have sufficient stresses that build up. You may be surprised to know New York felt over 550 earthquakes since the 1700s. The previous quake experienced in New York and New Jersey was in May of last year, measuring 2.2 magnitude. Is there a season for earthquakes or can earthquakes occur at any point, winter, spring, summer, fall? No, there, there's no seasonality uh, in terms of an annual basis. Naturally, this left me wondering, could climate change play a role in the frequency of these felt quakes? If the, if the temperature rises or if the temperature uh, drops, it's not going to affect how often we're going to see an earthquake. And that has to do also with the climate change in a very short term, like in the next year. But in terms of climate change, if we have sea level rise, for instance, we're going to change the amount of pressure that the ocean is exerting on the shelves and on the coastlines. And some of that weight will help to uh, uh, maybe trigger some earthquake activity, mostly in the same way that we're seeing earthquake activity now. Even though some felt the shake, these smaller sized quakes do not impact infrastructure. And experts say that a larger sized earthquake is not anticipated anytime soon. I wouldn't worry about it too much. The East Coast has been uh, geologically stable for millions of years. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.